Hey kids, I'm Jason and I am so excited to share a few minutes worth of video before your teachers take you a step further. We're excited to be back in our Bible classes. Can you find in your Bible, this is a Bible class, can you find the Gospel of Matthew? I'm going to read to you in just a moment from Matthew chapter 16. I want to read to you a promise of Jesus. You know who Jesus was. He was the Son of God who lived and did amazing miracles and gave his life for us. But he didn't stay dead, right? He rose from the dead and now he is our King. He is the Son of God. But while he was here, he made a great promise that applies to you even today. Is your Bible open there to Matthew chapter 16? I want to read with you a promise of Jesus in verse 18. Matthew 16, verse 18, where Jesus said, And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Were you listening to that carefully? Who does the church belong to? If you've got a little brother or little sister at home and, and you've got a toy that you really want to play with, but they also want to play with it, maybe one of the words that you use in talking to them is, is to say, that's mine. You know what it is to have something that is yours. Were you listening carefully to what Jesus said in Matthew 16? I will build my church. Who does the church belong to? It doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to you or your mom or dad. The church belongs to Jesus. The church is Jesus's. But what is the church? You hear that word a lot in sermons in Bible classes, but you know the church isn't that over there. I'm out here recording this video in the parking lot, and when I read to you or talk to you about the church, I'm not talking about that building. That's just a building. That's a building we're thankful for. That's the building you're in right now. We're thankful to have a Bible classroom in that building where you can learn about Jesus. But when we talk about the church, we're not talking about that building. You know what the church, that, that word even means? It doesn't mean a building. It doesn't mean some sort of a club or even a, a, a team like a sports team. Church means called out. Have you ever been in school when there was some sort of a fire drill and you had to follow your teacher's instructions? You had to get all lined up and, and walk down the hallway and maybe out onto the, the playground or the parking lot. What happened there? During that fire drill, there was a bell that started ringing and that bell called you out of your classroom and outside, called out. Or a bell might ring to call you out for lunch or call you out to recess. That's what the word church means. Jesus' church is a group of called out people. But called out how? Called out why? By who? And where to? I'm going to show some verses on the screen, and I want you to really pay attention to what we're le learning 
and we're gonna find out exactly what this called out people are. Jesus' church is a group of called out people. We are called, number one, by the Bible. It's the Bible that's calling us out. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 14, you see that on the screen? To this he, God, called you through our gospel. Just like the bell at school is what calls you out of the classroom to go out to resource, God has used the Bible to call people. The people who, who worship in this church building have answered the call of the Bible. That's how God people call or God calls people even today. Number two, in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9, we are called by the Bible out of darkness into light. Do you see here on the screen, 1 Peter 2 verse 9, that talks about him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. God's people haven't always lived as if God is there and, and sees the way that we're living. Sometimes we choose to, to act as if God isn't there at all. And, and I'm just going to live in whatever way I want to live. If I feel like telling a lie, I'll tell a lie. If I feel like taking something that doesn't belong to me, I'll just go ahead and take it. And the way God describes people who live like that, it's like we're living with the lights off. We're in darkness. We're not living the life that God created us to live. But God calls people through the Bible out of darkness into light. And finally, number three, he calls us to follow who? He calls us to follow Jesus. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9, do you see that up here on the screen? 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9, you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus wants you to know him. He wants to be your friend. He wants to be your guide. He wants to lead you all the way to heaven. And he's calling through the Bible. He's calling you to follow him. Now, before we're done, we were in Matthew chapter 16 earlier. Can you find Matthew chapter 28? I want to read with you just a few more verses, and then we're going to turn your, the rest of your class time over to your teachers right there in the room with you. Matthew chapter 28. Can you see that in your Bible? I want to begin reading with you in verse 18. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, where Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. All this month, we're asking a basic question. What is the church? And today we've learned it's, it's not that building. We're thankful for that building. But the church is people. The church is people who have decided to listen to the Bible.
Listen to the Bible's call to be disciples of Jesus. That's what we just heard Jesus say in Matthew 28. But what's, what's a disciple? We've learned that the church is people. What's a disciple? We're going to talk about that in Bible class this coming Wednesday. Now, Bible class isn't over. You've got a teacher who loves you so much and is excited to talk a little bit more with you about what we've learned in this video Bible study. In the meantime, I've enjoyed our time together. I'm looking forward to next Wednesday where we'll take this a step further. In the meantime, keep your Bible open and let's talk a little bit more about what is the church. I'll see you soon.